So apparently, lots of people on TikTok have been made in this dish and called it a million dollar spaghetti. Where is the world going? Let's watch it. I'm adding about four cups of water to a pot. Then we're going to season it with one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, as well as some seasoned salt. <laughs> I've never seen this in my life. And I'm also going to be adding some Parmesan cheese in there. Yeah, put some Parmesan to make it Alfredo, so that's more authentic. Yeah, put Parmesan. Terrible to watch. I don't want to watch this. It's so sad. Look how they, they're dead. They're like this. In this video, we are reacting to a one million dollar spaghetti. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so good. But then I see the title: How to make the viral TikTok baked spaghetti recipe. And now, I'm not excited anymore. First, because TikTok has been mentioned. Ugh. And second, it's because baked spaghetti, million dollar. This doesn't sound right. So apparently, lots of people on TikTok have been making this dish and called it a million dollar spaghetti. This is how a million dollar spaghetti looks like to you? Really? With the burnt cheese on top? Overcooked spaghetti? Where is the world going? Let's watch it. I've been getting a lot of comments on how to make the viral TikTok baked spaghetti. Ooh, it's been writing these comments. Ooh, wants to learn how to make this fake one million dollar spaghetti. Ooh, deserve this in life. Even though I have similar recipes like this one on my channel. Do you have similar recipes on your channel? Thank you for letting me know. So I'm not gonna come and check out your channel. Oh, savage. So today I'll show you look how terrible that looks. Look at that. Can you believe underneath that uh, burnt cheese there is pasta? What is the pasta? That's a, a cemetery for pasta. If there is a cemetery for pasta, it would be this. It would be pasta under the ground and melted cheese on top. Guys, my take on it, of course, is going to be bomb. So keep a bomb. Is it gonna be? Is it exploding? What's gonna happen? Explode and turn everyone into a one million dollar spaghetti. Keep on watching, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me keep watching. I'm not sure. If you enjoyed today's recipe, be sure to give it a like and let's jump right in. Uh, you're asking for too much, okay? Let me watch it first. For now, I can't give you a like. I can see burnt cheese and I can see overcooked pasta. I can tell. And I can see, is that basil or parsley that you chopped so thin? Look at that shot, that's a 4K shot. A $1 million shot. Okay, family, let's begin all of the- Family? Wait, wait. Family, 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 family. Don't call me family yet. I'm adding about four cups of water to a pot. Then we're going to season it with one tablespoon of chicken bouillon, as well as some seasoned salt. <laughs> I've never seen this in my life. You're boiling spaghetti in this water with the chicken bouillon. This, this is the first time I ever seen this in my life. Okay, it's not good. Uh, I maybe you think, oh, that's good and creative. This is bad. You don't do that. Why is it bad? Because it's bad. Because you don't use this ingredient. The pasta does not need this type of flavoring. Okay? The sauce will give the flavor to the pasta. This it disturbs. It's like when you have a flies flying around you that disturbs you. That's what it feels like for the pasta right now. Never allow that water to come to a boil. Once my water starts boiling, I am going to add the pasta. The pasta is very, very yellow. Very, very yellow. So it must be a very bad quality pasta. But I guess it will get even darker thanks to your uh, ingredients in the boiling water. I'm going to cook the spaghetti for about seven minutes. Aspetta. Where do you get the timing from? Is the pasta brand bad? I'm assuming it is. So maybe it does take seven minutes. A good spaghetti brand will give you uh, maybe nine minutes, 11 minutes cooking time. Also depends how big the spaghetti are. If you use thin, small spaghetti, yes, it takes six, seven minutes. 
Normally, I like my thick spaghetti, and that takes longer. Once my seven minutes is up, I am going to remove the spaghetti. Aspetta, so you're cooking the pasta before the sauce. Are you telling me it's a one million dollar pasta? Huh? Baked. First, if you bake your pasta, you should cook it after time. Are you telling me that your sauce is not done? And you want to call this a million dollar? You know what pasta is. You don't even know what pasta is. You call this a million dollar spaghetti. You're not the only one. You're not the only channel did this. If you go on YouTube and search for million dollar spaghetti, there are so many other channels who did this. So I'm not talking about the person who's cooking here. I don't know you. I'm sure you're a nice person. Uh, but so many of you have done this and it really makes me angry because I need to protect my Italian heritage and my culture. This is an offense to all my culture. It's an offense to my people, an offense to my food and to everyone who loves Italian food. You're destroying, okay, a culture. This is bad. This is offensive. Um, drain the water so it doesn't continue to cook and set it aside. Now, I am going to get ready to cook the- To me, that doesn't look like oil, any type of oil. That looks like sunflower oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, or water. It can be water because it's not running, but that's not extra virgin. I added some olive oil. No, that's not olive oil. That's, that's not olive oil. Definitely is not olive oil. Go so to the skillet, then add my ground beef. You can okay. also use Italian sausage. Uh, okay, Italian sausage, okay. To make it more expensive. I couldn't find any at my store. Shame on you, Winn-Dixie. Mm, shame on you, shop. Using ground beef only. I'm glad they didn't have Italian sausages because that would be another offense to Italian sausage. If you can find Italian sausage, go ahead and use No, don't use it because we don't want anything Italian in this. And I hope you use American spaghetti. Don't use Italian spaghetti. They don't deserve it. I'm going to cook the ground beef until it's no longer pink. But what are the flavors? What are the sofrito? What is the sofrito? Onions, celery, carrots. And then we are going to remove that excess water. Why? Yeah, not good. Just pour that out. Then the onion should have been cooked first. They saute the onion. That's a sofrito. Ma che fai? One million dollar. One million dollar. That's a one dollar spaghetti. I call this a one dollar. With this big mistake you just made, it's a one dollar spaghetti. Here, one dollar. <laughs> then I am going to add in my onions as well as the minced garlic. The minced garlic is from the jar. I can look how yellow the garlic. I've never seen a yellow garlic in my life. This is from the jar. You didn't even cut it. Can you believe it? This is a lazy one dollar spaghetti. I'm sorry to talk to you like this because you're a nice lady. I can tell. I like the way you speak. You're so positive. You're so happy. But why are you doing this to me, to me Italian cooking? Huh? If, if you know I'm around, if you've been on YouTube for such a long time, you know I'm around. And I'm gonna get all of you guys who do this. One by one, I get all of you. So just be ready because I'm watching every single movement that you make. And I've got lots of detectives. Lots of my friends, detectives, are finding you. So thank you guys for sending these videos. Thank you so much. Because thanks to you, we can stop this. I just feel sad for the onion and for the garlic. So sad. They're not cooking, they're not cooking. They're not cooking right. They, they, they're not so, they, they need to saute these ingredients. Now here comes the seasoning. I'm using a lot of different spices. For Wait, I feel like I'm in India right now. Like this, I feel like I'm in the markets in India and I have all these beautiful uh, spices available. It's too much. <laughs> what are you gonna do with this? Huh? What are you gonna do with all these colors? For today's recipe, I'm using Italian seasoning. What's Italian seasoning? What is it? Rosemary, it's used in many Mediterranean uh, in cuisines. What else is it? Dry herbs? Like what? Like, like what? Marjoram, thyme, dry basil, dry parsley. What is it? What's Italian? What's Italian uh, seasoning? I don't understand. Who, who created Italian seasoning? It doesn't exist. There are herbs. Pepper flakes, seasoned salt. Seasoned salt, what's seasoned salt? That's chicken salt. What's seasoned salt? 
What about normal salt? This is all processed, all processed. Brown black pepper, Creole seasoning. Creole seasoning? Creole seasoning does not belong to uh, Italian cooking, but okay. A little bit of chicken bouillon. And chicken bouillon? You're obsessed with chicken bouillon. You already put chicken bouillon in, this, in the pasta water, now you're putting here. If this is a $1 million spaghetti, it's because of how many ingredients you're using. So it probably did cost you a million dollars to make this. But what gave you the, the, uh, the, the right to oh, I have to go and find the original video on TikTok? Who gave these people the rights to give the title $1 million spaghetti? Why? Just to get the views? As well as some fresh parsley. Because the fresh parsley is going to take it to the next level. You're going to burn the fresh parsley now. You're destroying it in the meat. You're burning it. Now I'm going to add my pasta sauce. I'm using ragu. This one is tomatoes. Aspetta, ragu is the name of the brand because ragu normally is the sauce. So, ragu, so bolognese sauce, we call it ragu, okay? So ragu is when you do a slow cooked sauce with meat or vegetables or seafood. Is ragu the name of the brand? Because this is not ragu. It looks to me like a passata or tomato puree, but it's not even, I don't look real. It looks a little bit fake, the color, to be honest. It looks way too red. It's garlic and onion. I am going to mix that together. Don't be scared to mix it. You're very gentle. Just don't be scared, just mix it. The ingredients, they need to make love together. I'm actually hypnotized by this and I'm actually getting worried that they're trying to hypnotize me and maybe tonight I will make this dish. This, this is what the, these videos can do to you. So just be careful when you watch it because I, 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 for a second I felt like saying, oh, I can't wait to make it tonight. So just be careful. Let me have a glass of water. Ooh. All right, now I'm going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes? But by the way, what are the spaghetti now? Where are they dying? Oh, what are they? Where did you leave them? Poor spaghetti dying somewhere. Cover it, allow it to simmer. Once your 10 minutes is up, pick it up, set it aside, okay? Now moving. Only 10 minutes. Moving on, we're going to make our Alfredo sauce. Alfredo sauce? Alfredo sauce for one million dollar spaghetti. Alfredo sauce is the cheapest thing you can make. It's parmigiano and butter. It's so cheap. Not really. It's not your traditional way to make Alfredo sauce. How do you make it? But this is the way we're going to make it, honey. Honey? You're calling me honey? <laughs> okay. I'm going to melt two tablespoons of butter, then add my minced garlic in there. No, it's not yours. It's from the jar, okay? I believe the minced garlic is from the jar. Not only are you a cheat, you're a gutless cheat as well. You cook that for about 30 seconds or until it started to fragrance a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to cook garlic for too much. But this, this, this cream or milk does not belong to the Alfredo. Alfredo sauce is made with butter. You put the pasta in the butter and the melted butter, mix, 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 and then you add the cheese and then you create the cream. What is this? Why do you call this Alfredo if it's not Alfredo? Call it Genovina, call it Jeffrey, call it uh, Juan, call it Peter, but it's not Alfredo sauce. Then I'm going to add about two cups of heavy whipping cream. No. And then I'm going to add some cream cheese in. No, you don't put cream cheese in Alfredo. These ingredients will cost you over $2 million to make this pasta, not $1 million. You're using too much. Simplicity, that's how you make food. You need simple ingredients. Do you understand that with all that seasoning, you already took over part, you have all these, all these flavors fighting, fighting to be, to say, I want to be discovered, I want to be tasted, I want me to be tasted. I want them to taste me. They're fighting. And you're adding more and more and more and doing the Alfredo the wrong way. These ingredients are not going to like each other. They're going to fight in the pan. I'll say four tablespoons and I'm also going to be adding some Parmesan cheese in there. Yeah, put some Parmesan to make it Alfredo so that's more authentic. Yeah, put Parmesan. About eight ounces, 
just pour that in mix it up together and your heat should be on medium low heat yeah let's make it stringy yay this is not the first time i see alfredo sauce made this way i need to understand why it's made this way i need to understand why from rome a dish that is made with fettuccine burro butter and parmigiano travels all the way to america and then you add garlic cream cream cheese uh, uh, parsley and, and seasoning what gives you the right to do that to a dish huh? in Italian cuisine for us cuisine is more important our cuisine is more important than religion who gives you the right to do this you cannot offend me you cannot offend religion now she's letting this boil like she's boiling the Alfredo sauce longer than than the, the, the actual red sauce. She only cooked the red sauce for 10 minutes. She's cooking the Alfredo sauce for longer. Oh, here is the dead pasta. Look at that dead poor pasta. Look how dead it is. Once I notice the sauce is getting thicker, I... Look how sad that spaghetti, spaghetti are. Sad, so sad. Terrible to watch. I don't want to watch this. It's so sad. Look how they, they're dead. They're like this. Uh, uh. Spaghetti are not alive. They don't want to dance. They don't want to have a party. They are like, oh, what are you doing to me now? Just kill me. Now, keep in mind, after you're done cooking your pasta, not to add cold water to it because that will prevent the sauce from clinging to your pasta. So, no. These are the vibes that's gonna change my life. Thank you so much for sharing it. Pasta experts from TikTok, I love it. They know everything about pasta. These TikTokers. Bit tempted to add some mozzarella cheese to it. <laughs> you, are you tempted to put mozzarella in this? Please tell me I'm, I'm wrong. Vincenzo, you're wrong. You don't know how to cook. You're doing everything you're wrong. And then I say, okay guys, if that's what you believe, I'll, I'll start doing this. But please tell me I'm not wrong. You don't need mozzarella in this. That's, that's shredded mozzarella, by the way. It's the fakest cheese you can get. It's as fake as the orange cheddar. Can you just buy a nice vintage white cheddar? Why do you need the cheddar to be orange? And I did, just a little bit. Was it necessary? Not really. She knows, at least she knows. She admits it. But we did, okay? So now- Do you know how heavy this is? Do you know how heavy this is? You're gonna make you go, it's gonna make you go to the toilet after you eat this. For sure. You're gonna be in the toilet for at least a few hours because it's so heavy for your stomach. And don't forget, you need to add the sauce in here too. Now you're going to give it a stir. As you can see, the heat is... Look at, all the, look at the strings because of the mozzarella. Look at the strings. Mm. On low. Then this is ready. I grab my baking dish. I believe this is a 12 by 9. Oh. Yeah, these details are so important to us. We need to know the size of the dish. Yeah, because I don't want to make mistakes when I recreate it. I don't know, okay? Whatever size baking dish you have. Thank you, thank you. Just use that, okay? Add your spaghetti at the bottom. Do you feel like spaghetti? You're making a pizza? So you do like, that's a pizza base. Now I'm gonna add some nice ragu on top. And then what? Then add the ground beef on top. I don't know why you don't. It's not called ground beef. It's called ragu, if you wanna be more precise. Just mix everything together, but that's how they did it. Okay, we're just gonna roll with it. If you look at the ragu, it doesn't look that bad. It looks like a nice ragu. The problem is, I know what's in there. You understand? You can't always eat with your eyes. They can't always say, oh, it looks good. What's in it? Do you understand? If you look at this, you say, wow, it's a nice ragu. I'm gonna cook some pasta and mix it. No. She put the pasta underneath the pasta cemetery. This is the this is the death of pasta. This, this that's where the pasta dies underneath the sauce. She's putting more mozzarella. Next, she's adding more shredded mozzarella, fake mozzarella. We're going to add lots and lots of mozzarella cheese. How much? What's lots? Can you use real mozzarella, please? On top. Okay. 
no, it's not okay. If you want to call this $1 million spaghetti, you need to use real mozzarella, fresh mozzarella. And I've got a video on my channel, how to make fresh mozzarella. You can learn how to make fresh mozzarella. But this, no, 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 sorry. I mean, how, my, how many packets of shredded mozzarella you need? Huh? And if you wasted all your money, all this money to make this terrible dish, you know how many beautiful Italian dishes you could have made? You could have made a Christmas and Easter meal with all the money you spent. You could have cooked for 20 people. I know, I, I, I can tell you, you, can, you could have. She's coming with the gloves, so gentle. She's really dedicating her time and patience. She's really putting lots of effort into this. To garnish, we're going to add some dry parsley, just a little razzle-dazzle. Why do you need to put dry parsley, dry basil? What do you think they can do? What do you think they do? What do you think they're gonna give to this dish? <laughs> there are so many flavors in there. Can you just put fresh basil, parsley at the end? Then we're going to pop this in the oven. Do not cover it on 350 for 20 minutes. Okay, so you basically want to burn the top, okay. Once your 20 minutes is up, you are going to turn on your broiler just to get that golden color on. Oh, so you actually do like to burn cheese, okay. Top for another five minutes or oh, whenever it's nice and... You do like it burned. That's like making a creme brulee. You have to go like to break, you have to break the cheese to go through the bottom. It's crazy how you guys eat. It's just crazy what you guys like to eat. I don't understand it. I understand once or twice, it could be nice, but this is what you guys eat all the time. You don't even know what my grandmother a crepe lasagna would taste like. You don't even have a clue of what it's like. You don't even have a clue of how to make a real Fredo or a spaghetti vongole or a beautiful uh, rigatoni alla grigia. Yeah, yeah, what is it? You don't even know talking to you TikTokers that make this video. Learn more. Come on my channel, I'll show you some Italian dishes, please. Huh? And then you, can, then you can say, oh wow, I've learned something. Maybe you can say, I'm gonna stop doing video recipes because what you would be making is not correct. Nobody deserves this, my friend. Golden brown on top. And this- If you want golden, go to a jewelry shop and buy a nice gold necklace, golden earrings. Golden sunglasses from, from Gucci, if you want. No, you don't need gold on pasta. This is your final result, you guys. This, mm, this, 10 out of 10, definitely. I don't even know if I can give a 10 out of 10 to my nonna lasagna, which, is, yes, it does deserve a 10 out of 10. But who gives you the rights to give this a 10 out of 10? Ooh told you this is a 10 out of 10. Why do you have to fool people with this? Huh? Why do you have to do this to people who do not deserve this in their life? Recommend, try this out. This was bomb. I'm telling you this. No, no. We are gonna become bombs. If I hit this, I'm gonna become bombs and then I have to go to the toilet and let it explode it. I need the toilet, excuse me. I knew it'd come out quicker than it went in. And that's not pleasant, let me tell you. Sorry if I use these words, but that's what is going to happen if you eat this dish. This, this was bomb. And if I had... Stop using that word. That Italian sausage. What? It would have been 20 out of 10. You're teasing me now, I know. You're teasing me. You did this on purpose, so I get a reaction. So I reacted to you. Because what you just said now is just... Oh, me. You really hurt me now. I really feel bad now. I feel so bad. I don't know if I can keep watching this, but you really hurt me. Oh. <laughs> I want to cry. <sighs> Let's keep watching this. Look what she's doing. Look. But right now, this is a 10 out of 10 that you have to try it for yourself. 10 out of 10, you have to try for yourself. You know what I'm talking about. No, I don't know what you're talking about. And I will never know, because I will never, never hit this. Look at that, the pasta died like four hours ago. The 
sauce is not even cooked properly. The Alfredo sauce is cooked longer with the fake Alfredo sauce. The shredded mozzarella on top, oh, it died after five minutes in the oven. And what's that big lump in the middle? Does that look like an egg? What is that? You know what's the best part is? Look at that dry parsley there. The dry parsley, the dry basil. <laughs> what is it doing there? I mean, it's still there. It didn't go anywhere. It's still there. It didn't burn. It's still there for decoration. But then when you put it in the plate, you can't even see it. It's all mashy. That's what one million dollar pasta looks like to you. Is that what it looks like to you? We have a big problem if that's what it is. You tell me, why did this video go viral on TikTok? Why million dollar pasta TikTok people have made this go viral? What people on TikTok like to see, like to eat? What do you guys like on TikTok? What do you like to eat on TikTok? Huh? Well, if I give a cardboard, would you like it? Maybe you do, because this is worse than cardboard. If I put some salt and pepper on cardboard, it would taste better. This is bad. So I don't understand. Okay, I need to understand. So I'm doing this because I need to understand. So tell me please, okay? I think I need to go. I need to go and open a bottle of wine and tonight I need to drink some wine to forget about this. So tomorrow's a new day and I can forget. I can believe it was a nightmare and keep enjoying my beautiful food and beautiful all made food. And old school, it's always best. Old school food is kept from generation to generation. It's been tested and tested and retested and it's always good. So this new dish, they're not gonna go too far. They will be forgotten very quickly because nobody, nobody wants to teach the kids or grandkids how to make this. These dishes, do not deserve to go in any books, okay? So, thank you so much for watching this with me. I know we suffered, it was very difficult, so sorry, and thank you for watching it with me. I will see you in the next reaction video, but definitely don't do this, okay? Thank you guys. Love from Vincenzo's Plate.